What would happen if you fell into a black hole? Imagine you're out in the vastness of space, humanity's last hope, searching for a new planet to call home. Suddenly, your sensors pick up something strange, a black hole. Instead of turning back, you think, why not take a closer look? Buckle up, because we're about to dive into what would really happen if you fell into a black hole. Despite its name, a black hole isn't just a dark, empty void. It's actually a region packed with an immense amount of mass squeezed into a tiny space. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, black holes form when a massive star burns out its fuel and collapses. If the remaining core is more than three times the mass of our sun, its gravity becomes unstoppable, crushing it into a single, infinitely dense point. The term black hole might sound like it describes a blank space, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Think of the sun, with gravity 28 times stronger than Earth's. Standing on it, if that were possible, you'd feel 28 times heavier. Now imagine cramming four suns into a space just 24 kilometers, 15 miles wide, about the distance you drive in half an hour. That's the size of some black holes. The gravity at a black hole center is so intense that not even light can break free. That's why they're invisible. But we can still detect their presence by the gamma ray bursts and gravitational waves they produce. Physicist Stephen Hawking once speculated that black holes could even be portals to other universes. So, if you dove into one, could it be your ticket to another dimension? Every black hole has a boundary called the event horizon. Once something crosses it, there's no going back. From outside, you'd see stars warping and twisting around the edge in a dazzling ring of light. But as you fall in, you'd start speeding up, gravity pulling you faster and faster. Here's where things get intense. If you went in feet first, the gravitational pull on your lower body would be stronger than on your upper body. You'd be stretched and pulled apart in a gruesome process scientists call spaghettification. This is especially true for small, stellar mass black holes, usually about 15 kilometers, nine miles across, but weighing up to 20 times the mass of our sun. In those, you'd be shredded before even reaching the event horizon. But if you were to aim for a supermassive black hole, millions or even billions of times more massive than the sun, you might make it across the horizon in one piece. These giants have less of a difference in gravity between your head and feet, so you'd survive longer, but not forever. There's actually one such supermassive black hole sitting quietly at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Fortunately, it's about 265 quadrillion kilometers away, so no need to panic just yet. Passing through the event horizon is only the beginning. Deep inside lies the singularity, a point where all the mass is concentrated and density becomes infinite. Once you reach it, you'd be crushed down to an infinitely small point, your very being merged with the black hole. To an observer watching from afar, though, things would look very different. As you approach the event horizon, you'd seem to slow down and fade to red, frozen in time. That's because near a black hole, time bends, another mind-blowing effect predicted by Einstein. You wouldn't be able to escape. And even if one day the black hole evaporated and released everything it had swallowed, there'd be no way to prove that any of those particles were you. Still, Stephen Hawking had an idea. What if the information that made you you wasn't lost? Maybe it's stored at the event horizon, or maybe it ends up in another universe entirely. In one timeline, you disappear into a black hole. In another, you never even encountered it. Mind-bending, isn't it? So would you take that leap? Would you risk falling into the unknown for a chance to unlock the secrets of the cosmos? Because in space, your next great mystery might be hiding in plain sight. Please make sure to subscribe and like us.